Hello everyone, how's it going? Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Academia School Simulator, shall we? So this game looked hilarious, and I like the cute style. It's like RimWorld in high school, which could be really good or really bad. I'm not sure how this is going to go, but I want to try it out. So I, as far as I understand, it's a management game where you run a high school. And, you know, as a person who is in academia, as a college professor, I can only say this should have a special place in my heart for the hilarity that will ensue. So let's go ahead and start it up. I'm just going to make a new game. Uh, I'm not going to go sandbox mode. I don't know if there's like a campaign or something, but oh my goodness. Okay. Um, well... Rodriguez Heights. That's pretty sweet. Let's customize the school name. Um, Incompetence High. Okay. And the school motto is a quality education, a community commitment. All right. Um, how about, you know... Hmm. What's our school motto? Incompetence. Um, I know what it is. Here we go. It's just incredible incompetence. Okay, that looks good. Now, um, you get to choose your kind of coat of arms here. So, garlic is kind of funny, but, you know, what else? What are our options here? Dragons, moons, all right, wagon wheels, papers, pineapples, pizza, skulls, all right, this is great. All right, so we're going to go with turtles and uh, badgers, lions, and... Let's see, what else do we got here? Hamburgers. So, the idea is animals and hamburgers. And I guess hamburgers, at least part of it, once was an animal. And the secondary color, um, okay. Yeah, we can go with, uh, yeah, this is nice. Blue and blue. Okay, great. Uh, difficulty settings, we're going to go with normal. Co-ed, this is all fine. I'm going to keep everything here. <laughs> Delinquency, oh boy. Uh, okay, and the flag, uh, the Philippines, that's kind of cool, but um, why don't we go with the United States just because it's kind of where I am. And I don't want any other countries to have to deal with the incompetence, the incredible incompetence of incompetence high. And the school pet... Uh, the uniform, original uniform. Uh, or we can choose Japanese, United Kingdom, prisoner, camo, Malaysia, China, Philippines, Russia, casual. Let's go with the original uniform. That's fine. Cat. Uh, which cat do we want? Oh, yeah. Okay, this, this fat dog. I have a golden retriever, so this looks like a golden retriever. That's close enough. And then the principal... Well, of course, it's Ebenezer Scrooge. Uh, Doogie Hauser, uh, K. Kazuma is the niece of a Yakuza boss. Oh, my goodness. Uh, the preacher, the custom principal. Okay. And uh, we'll customize it. No, you know what? I'm going to go with uh, Sergeant Slaughter. Let's just say this is run by um, Ebenezer Scrooge. That's great. All right. Play. Oh, my goodness. This better not be happening in the bathrooms. Smoking in the boys' room. You're in the build phase. At the start of every school year, you're given some time to plan and build your school. 
While students are not in class, the build phase has no time limit. Your cash flow will not be deducted, but building and buying objects will still cost money. When you're ready to begin, click on the start school year button. Um, okay. So this looks like <laughs> Dwarf Fortress, kind of, uh, which is hysterical, and yet I'm going to be building a school. Now, I don't know what I'm doing. Um, so I guess I'll blueprint, maybe? I don't know. Build? Objects? Zones? Logistics? Blueprint? Staff? Alright. Um, I gotta tell you what. I have no idea what I'm doing. And there appears to have been no tutorial. So here's where the delivery is coming in. This is a stockpile mark delivery, I guess. And here's where the garbage goes. Okay. Uh, let's see. To do. All right, here we go. This is good. Um, build an office assigned to the principal. Hire a principal. And we need a refrigerator. Okay. Um... Let's just go with brick. Brick walls. They're the same as everything else. Alright. Now here's the road. I don't know where this necessarily needs to go. But I'm just going to go here. And I'm going to build. Uh, you know, RimWorld style. Let's see. This is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Yeah, I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. It's going to make a nice 8x8. Eight eight. Whatever. And now we have a room. And so we can put a door on this. That. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, let's put make this the main entrance. So you have like an entryway. That's fine. We have no time, so we can, you know, do what we want. And you come in. And then maybe, you know, there's hallways. So, I don't know, like, there's a hallway like this, and a hallway like this, and a hallway like this. Okay. And then I'm going to just do doors, and we'll just have, like, a double door here, and uh, a double door. I mean, I don't know why it matters what direction, but there you go. And then now people can get in and out and go down these hallways. And can I make a window? Are there windows? Anyway, we're going to go to uh, build. And I'm going to go to all. And we'll do uh, brick walls, I guess. I mean, there's like wooden walls. All right. Anyway. I'm going to say, just to use this, hmm. no, I don't want it that tall. I'm going to get rid of that. Um, there, there we go. And then we're going to go build this regular door, like right, uh, double door is fine. It, Oh, I need it on each side. Or no, it, never mind. It doesn't really matter. It just matters where it goes in terms of it being recessed or not. Okay, so then, um, let's see. Blueprint. Uh, what about objects? I don't know how big this room has to be. I'm going to zoom in on that a little bit. Like, I'm making the principal's office right now. So, I guess it's... Is it an admin table? Seems like an admin table is what's required here. Um, so, an office to assign to principal. So, zones. Um, admin. Office. 
It needs to be an office. It says it needs an admin table, a filing cabinet. Um, it needs to be five by five tiles. So I need to make this bigger is what they're telling me. That is no problem. I also need to remove the trees probably and put flooring in. Okay. All right, everybody. My brain is being a little bit slow with this game. It looks really awesome, but I just have to go a little bit slower to process this. So I'm going to delete this wall and delete this wall. Uh, that's not how you do that. Uh, build. No. No, I break it. Um, I did it before with right-clicking it, but... Mm. Oh, demolish. Okay. Maybe I was able to right-click it because it hadn't been built yet. All right, and then we're going to go to build, and I'm going to say all brick wall. And I'm just going to kind of build it like that. Extend it. There we go. And from here, uh, I'm going to go to zone, and we're going to go to zone, edit this, and um, I'm going to add to it. Can I do that? Mm. Not easily. Office. Oh, yeah. Okay, here we go. There we go. Right, that's better. And then I'm going to uh, click off of that. And can I move this? Uh, well, it looks like you can sell it for the full price. So I'm going to do that. Let's just build a floor first. All right. So concrete tile, kitchen tile. Uh, we can do... They're all the floors all cost the same, so it looks like it's cosmetic. So just kind of do that. Put that floor in. And then for the rest of this, what kind of a floor do we want? I mean it's a school, right? So it's gonna have like terrible concrete hallways. But we can make this room right here the entryway like a nice entry with you know brick to look cool all right anyway so this is going to be an office and in here we need fax machine all right let's go objects um office here we go admin table Let's put it over here and a fax machine over here and a filing cabinet over here. And that should do it. Kind of. Not really. All right, let's see. They're going. All right, we got it. So the office is actually done. And then now, I guess we could hire somebody, staff, and we need a principal. And we just kind of put him in there. Oh my gosh, we did it. The principal's working. And research has been unlocked. Principal research complete. We did that. We did that. Okay, great. Now what? We need a refrigerator to increase food delivery. Okay, so we're going to need a section where we are dealing with can you let me see what the key bindings are uh, I don't see that anywhere I'll save it um, but I'm going to go back yeah Okay, never mind. I was just going to try to look for the, the key bindings of the game. Let's see, is that... Oh, here we go. Hotkeys. Thank you. Um, here we go. Uh, rotate object with mouse button 3. Cancel build. Yep, we did that. Quick save F5. Okay. And we can move the camera around. Sure, sure, sure. 
build objects right routing demolish okay dismantle um okay anyway i'm gonna go to build and i'm just gonna build the concrete tile like right there and from here what do i want to do i need to build some kind of refrigeration place for the food and here's where the delivery comes in so i guess what i can do is just go to all and build a brick wall that's like you know right here and then we can just build a giant room that's going to be um nutrition services delivery oh maybe i should fence in the delivery this is where food crates get delivered workers stay here if there's no staff lounge okay or maybe delivery comes here and then they move it in here. I don't know. All right, build floors. And this should be like kitchen tile, I guess. And then we need some kind of door going in here. Good. Uh, her task is out of reach, right? Because we did. I built this the wrong way. And then I'm going to go to zones, and we're going to call this delivery zone. But I need refrigerators. All right. So we have a... Oh, we already had delivery zone. Well, I wonder if I need to erase this or something. We'll see what happens. And then I'm going to go to objects, and we say kitchen refrigerator. Oh. Oh. Well, I need to research basic facilities. Oh. Okay, admissions. Um, Alright, so we're going to have these many people coming in. 60. Uh, what does this say? One refrigerator required to increase food delivery. Well, I can't do this until I research basic facilities. So, do I tell the principal to do that? Are you researching? Current research. Here we go. Basic facilities. Yeah, do that. I guess I should have selected that before. All right, that's happening. It's interesting because there's, like, when you're in build mode, no time is passing. But I'm researching. I should have done that ages ago. But I didn't know. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay. So this is where the food's going to come in. I assume I'm going to need classrooms. So, let's just start building some classrooms, I guess. Uh, we'll go ahead and say, all right, one like this. And then... Like this. This will be a, a classroom. And we're going to build a door. There's just a single door for the classroom. Oh, I didn't make this large enough. I keep doing this wrong. All right, that's no problem. What I'm going to do is uh, demolish. I thought I was pushing the, the clever button for that, but I'm not. Anyway, it doesn't matter. And then build all brick wall. There we go. Okay. And then we're going to go for floors. And I'm just going to build like... This parquet wood floor. And we're going to need to go to zones. And I'm going to try classroom. Oh, I see. You build rooms for each like type of person freshman sophomore okay um so they need chalkboard 
chairs, tables, but this needs to be big. Eight by five. Okay, so I gotta make this bigger. Fine. Alright, so it's already five across. Uh, let's just go ahead and make it one like this. Okay, I'm back from a little break, and I'm just going to continue our progress of trying to build this freshman classroom. I'll just kind of unpause the game. Let's see. Yep, you can click the number one there to just go to one speed. And I guess since time doesn't really matter, um, oh, let's do some more research. You know, all that seems to ma matter right now is that uh, I have the money to do this because time is going to happen so do we need oh boy look at how big this tree is do we want detention rooms a money manager school design school cleaning those are expensive human resources worker priority uh, I don't know what I sh should be spending money on <laughs> students need a place where they can reflect on the mistakes they made says the detention rooms indeed that's got to be important. All right. Nothing like punishment for acting out. We do need some discipline at this school. People need to think about what they've done. Okay. So now uh, we've got this room here. And we're going to zone this as a classroom for freshmen that is this large. It's actually bigger than I made it 9 by 5 instead of 8 by 5 but that's just fine. All we need is a chalkboard and 10 chairs and a table so let's go to objects and let's go to classroom and we can put a chalkboard uh you know maybe here for the teacher to stand in front of and you don't need a teacher's table in oh yeah you do okay i was gonna say i was like that seems awkward no you do we'll put it in the corner here and then we'll put 10 chairs and i'm gonna uh, push R to rotate these around so they're facing the chalkboard. And I'm not going to space these out at all. And you can drag. Yep, you sure can. Alright, so there it is. So they should build all this. Now, I don't know why they're not building that wall. I want them to. There we go. And this just triggered as a classroom. So... Uh, admissions. I guess we can now hi uh, get some people. Uh, we need a refrigerator. Oh, but we have to re finish researching that. Oh, and this is just a terrible floor. So let's go ahead and build a floor that's concrete right here. Uh, and let's see. What else do I want? Oh, I can build the refrigerator now because I did the research. So we'll just go to cafeteria. And indeed, I can get a... Uh, well, maybe that's not where it goes. Uh, kitchen? Here it is, refrigerator. So we'll get a refrigerator right there. And then let's just kind of wait for that to get put in. Complete this next objective. All right. One refrigerator required to increase food delivery. That is a refrigerator. Does that not count? Maybe I need to get rid of this zone. Can I remove this delivery zone right there? And then... Did that count? Um, one refrigerator required to increase food delivery. Um, okay. I don't know. I mean, I have a refrigerator. Is that not the right thing? It seems like it is. Alright, so... 
I'm going to kind of just say, you know what, this to-do list, um, I'm just going to skip that because it's not registering that. I don't know if the delivery area just has to be bigger than this or if I need some kind of, um, maybe a delivery needs something specific. So delivery, let's see, um, it needs to be five by five tiles. Food crates get delivered. Workers stay here if there's no staff lounge. Um, but other than that, you know, it doesn't have any requirements. So it should be working. I don't know. Um, so anyway, let's go ahead and go to classroom. And do we want to put some more classrooms in? Oh, build phase day two. So... There are days that are passing. I thought it said that the time wasn't passing in the build phase. Or maybe you can pause it and build to not have time pass. I have no idea. All right. So at, um, I think we should admit freshmen because we have enough space. So I'm just going to say yes, and it'll help give us some money so that we're not in the black. We only have 10 seats, so I don't know how we um, admit that many here we go so maybe we in admit 10 and then we take 10 but I could actually just I'm gonna go ahead and just do this because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build some more seats I mean what do I care All right so we can put some seats like you know right there and then right there and I don't know... Oops, these are rotated the wrong way. Here, let me get rid of these really fast. Let me rotate the, them so they're facing the board. There. That should be good. And then... Five students don't have chairs, but I think if I just push play, I think they will. Eventually, the workers should get over there and build that. Now, as far as, uh, I probably need a teacher in this room, right? Do I have a teacher? Uh, I really have no idea. I'm not researching anything. I did detention rooms. A lot of these are just so expensive that I feel like I can't really afford them until I start making money. Oh, here we go. Available teachers. Oh, God, these are expensive. Demanding. Um, these are really expensive. All right. Oh, my God, you need teachers for, like, every department? This guy's good at language and math and gym. Oh, boy, I don't know what to do. Let's just have this guy. All right, we have a teacher. And we need an accountant's office to get a bank loan, which that's fine. We don't have that. We don't even have a cafeteria. And I don't know how I, I would get enough money for that. Maybe I just immediately take a loan. Oh, here's my staff. I have one teacher, six workers, and no students. So should I open the school? Or when do they get here? Build phase. Or maybe we have to get through the build phase before things happen. I'm not sure. And I gotta tell you what. I think this game is super interesting at first. It's like RimWorld, but I really don't know how to play. And there doesn't seem to be a tutorial in the game, so I'm just kind of guessing on what to do. But if any of you have played the game and you can give me some tips or advice, I'd love to hear it. And I'd also just want to know, do you want to see me play more of this game? I just kind of scratched the surface just to see what it was all about. And it's very deep and complicated, evocative of Dwarf Fortress, RimWorld, management games like this. 
Uh, but at the same time, I don't quite know what I'm doing, and I'd love some help. So everyone, thank you so much for watching. Let me know if you think this is interesting and you want to see more, or if you have any advice, I'd appreciate it. Take care.